definitely do the rock star portrait stuff. I've done this forever. Some of these pieces are, are a little bit dated now. Uh, the top three up there and the printed part of the corner is kind of a new series where I did. It's called the Rogue series, which is a little less portraiture, a little less um, figurative. It's called Rock Stars of Art. Okay. Uh, um, he, Michael Goddard's a musician and loves music, but he didn't make it in music either. He made it as an artist as well. And uh, but Trevor, knowing that about Goddard and, and being the rock star of the art world, and Trevor painting the rock stars, he started sending his work to Michael Goddard. Okay, and uh, uh, sounds easy. Okay, so Michael Goddard said, "Oh, great work! You know, we'll, we'll publish it." No, Michael Goddard's publishing company gets bombarded by thousands of artists. Okay, will you please take in my work? Okay, kind of like we do in our gallery. You know, we, we have a lot of requests, but Michael Goddard, as popular as is, it's huge. But Trevor's work, okay, was so special, and, and just the detail and the emotion behind it, to Michael Goddard himself, okay, that Goddard said, you know what, we're going to take this guy in, and, uh, and we're going to start, you know, publishing his work. And at that time, we took it in our gallery in Vegas. I thought he was 20 years old, and at 20 years old, I realized I was going to make a living out of this. Uh, music is always huge for me. <laughs> so when I uh, at 20 years old, I couldn't start playing music because I had friends that played music. They were in a band. They were, they were touring musicians already. I was eight years behind the eight ball. These guys were already playing and established, and I was like, oh, I can't do that. I'll be 28 before I'm even good enough to do anything. But I did have this something that I had done since I was young, and I was kind of ahead of the game in this. So at that time, I just made the decision that my contribution to rock and roll would be this. So that was kind of how I was in my career in this, as Michael did. He, um, it's easy to get a, well, it's not easy, but to get a guy published is one thing, but to someone take a chance to put you on the wall. So every time you see a painting on a wall in any gallery, that's, that's real estate. That that is as important as a, a house on a block, and for someone to give you that piece of real estate without having any clue whether or not they can move that piece of real estate is, uh, it, you know, it, it's special. absolutely special. So for him to take that chance uh, years ago, um, you, you can't thank him enough. Um, and then to see it transform into something like this is. It's mind blowing. It's, but we have, we've been a team since the beginning, and, and he's always been the guy that when people call me, get a hold of me on my website, I always, I always vote directly with Greg because it's, it really is my first game. It's what I consider my home base. I always consider Vegas my home base, but I, people might be calling me that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. so, I was just kind of inspired one day, and it, instead of doing the big production stuff, I, uh, I just grabbed a, a small canvas and thought I would just do a uh, a piece just for this gallery and this gallery. There's no prints made of this. This is one of a kind. There's no chip plays. There's no new productions or whatever. But um, kind of a controversial figure. But anyways, uh, Sid Vicious, I was watching some Sex Pistols stuff and it just felt like it was time to paint Sid again. So uh, it made its way down here as well. So, so thank you for that, Trevor. So that's Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols. Does that piece have a name other than that? Regrets. No regrets. I think it's no regrets. Regrets, I've had a few. No regrets, I've had a few. No, it's regrets, I had a few. Oh, regrets, I had a few. See, we know What's more that? about your art than you do. Thank you, Janessa. I know it was in there somewhere. So we have that very special original owner. It is on our website. Well. So, you know, I looked at my girlfriend and said, does this one have a name? And she goes, no. <laughs> Okay. It's kind of a whirlwind in the studio sometimes. You know, but, but no, that's, 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 a, that's a great so piece. It's a great, and I just wanted to, to say to everybody as well, these last couple of pieces that Trevor's done, and by the way, most of the music that's being played tonight is, uh, is after one of Trevor's pieces. So if you hear Tom Petty, if you hear, uh, of course, Led Zeppelin, but if you... Just by chance, uh, this is my 100th published piece. Oh, that's right, 100. Yeah, so this is number one. Uh, I, I know we've got 10 or 15 here. The website has 100 on it. So if you don't see anybody here, that you have a musician, favorite musician, there's a good chance we've come close somewhere in there somewhere. 